Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular Material full tutorial series with live examples. In previous episodes, we have learned how to use, how to install, how to use various different components like buttons, mat cards, checkboxes. In today's episode, we will learn how to use material, Angular Material dropdown or select, which is called mat select with options. A drop-down is a very common feature used in forms or in most applications. We will learn all about it in practical today. Before we get started with our practical, friends, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. And if you have any technical doubts, any queries, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Let's get started with mat select tutorial today all right so i have my application up and running here let's see the output first so we are going to see the output of the application we have done so far in learning it's a simple basic application where we have started now we are going to add drop down to this mat card let's get started if you have not seen our previous videos please do so you can learn about material card, icons, buttons, and much, much more. Let's get started. So the first thing we do to include the match select is to import the match select module in our module file. So we import the match select module and then we import that in our ng module here. So I, as part of this tutorial series, I have created a material module which will import all the required modules in one go. If not, you will have to do that individually in your app, app module. So since we have imported all in one go, I am good to go with using the match select. So for this, I have imported the match select module. Now let's go to our app component and we will bind the data here. But before we do that, the first thing we do is create a quick json object that we'll use let's call it users and it will be an array and we are just or let's say you want to use cities it can be anything so we'll give a name and then we'll give a value and call it say new york right and since it's an object you don't need that all right, and similarly, I throw in some more here. Just bear with me for one quick second. And I'll add one more and I'll just close them properly so we don't have any errors or linting issues. So here I have created a quick cities json object all it does is it has a name but in more complex real-time scenarios you might have a complex object but that's about time that you will learn it for now we are good to use this so i've created a simple json object with which has few names of cities that we want to display in our drop down now we go to our app select and we use the the attribute called mat select and how do we use that is by writing match select and we close the tag it would take mat option as parameter inside the options that we want to show the drop down here alternatively you can write something like this which is totally fine but in like i said in more complex real time scenario you will need to have these values dynamically let's see the output All right, so there is some, okay, so it goes here. It shows the dropdown. Let's see the value, why this is not showing up. So first thing is mat option that we have used, All right? And we have imported that as well. All right, let's now see that uh, mat select and mat option. We have given the mat option, we have closed them. We have used 
and imported the match select module all right so the fastest way to to debug is right click inspect element looks like there are some errors it says please include either browser animation module in your application all right so we need to use that to use animation so we will go to our and we will include that to import this no quick fixes are available so let's import that here and see if we have it if not we will add one all right so we will we are going to need this that we need to import from our angular platform so i'm going to include that in app module right now and i'm going to mention it here import browser animation module from at the rate angular slash platform browser dynamic all right it says module has no exported member let's see that quickly oh sorry it's inside the platform platform browser slash animations and we close it so now we know that it's imported successfully since there are no errors so we have imported the browser animation module along with match select so let's see this now so now we see it is showing 100% width we'll fix the width so this is the dynamic mat select that we have done but if you see here friends this we have done I'm going to quickly put some style so I don't I show you clearly and I'm going to show you width. this is a dirty fix for you to see quickly all right so here we are we have our drop down and that we want to show so far so good now i want this to be dynamic in a sense that we want it to be like let's first put a label to this so what we are going to do is we are going to add a matte label using form but that is for later for now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this matte card here and create a new card using dynamic select using dynamic values so i'm going to delete this and instead i'm going to use ng4 to loop to the option i'll select option of cities because that is what our name that we gave and here using interpolation we are going to say option dot name now let's go and see this so we have our cities it has a key value pair the key is name i'm going to use i'm looping the values and printing option dot name let's see that so now you see las vegas miami dallas new york these are all coming dynamically into our application so this is how we binded our data from component to HTML inside the match select using option dynamically. This is how the this is static list. This is dynamic list. And this that is how we use our match select component in our Angular applications. Please do try this out and let me know if you have any questions or doubts. I'll be happy to help you for free. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. There are more tutorials coming your way. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.